since 1984, the Byron Kennedy Award has been celebrated outstanding creativity in film and television. Each year, Kennedy Miller Mitchell, in association with ACTA, presents the award and $10,000 to an individual or organization dedicated to innovation and the pursuit of excellence in our industry. This year, the Byron Kennedy Award is being presented to a painter, photographer, and animator who brought consummate skill and elegance to Australian film. Sarah Watt. I was lucky enough to work with Sarah in 2009 on My Year Without Sex, and it's an experience I will always hold very dear. Her work broke all the rules, yet she never failed to connect to a wide audience with her humor, her honesty, and her heart. Ladies and gentlemen, she may be gone, but she'll never be forgotten. Sarah Watt. Sarah Watt's first feature film, Look Both Ways, in 2005, introduced her unique talent to a wide audience. Featuring a skillful mix of animation and live action, the film starred Justine Clark and Sarah's husband, William McInnes. Look Both Ways won numerous accolades, including the 2005 AFI Awards for Best Film, Best Direction, Best Screenplay and Best Supporting Actor. And if you think I'm upset because, because you don't want to see me, well, how dare you? Maybe I was going to say thanks, but no bloody thanks. Although Look Both Ways was a breakthrough work, Sarah was already well established as an internationally recognised artist and animator, and one of Australia's most talented short filmmakers. Sarah's early short films developed the fluid painterly style and intimately personal preoccupations that would feature in her later works. Her short animation, Small Treasures, based on her own experiences of losing her first child, won Best Short Film at the Venice Film Festival in 1995. Other acclaimed animations followed, including Local Dive, The Way of the Birds and Living with Happiness, which won the AFI Award for Best Short Animation in 2002. Sarah's second feature film, My Year Without Sex, in 2009, was a portrait of Australian family life, with all its mundanity and chaos made precious by a brush with mortality, a theme close to her heart. Despite a busy family life and advancing illness, Sarah continued to work on many scripts, paintings and projects up until her death in November 2011. Irrepressibly creative, generous and honest, Sarah was loved by many and her work continues to impress and delight. We honour her and remember her with this award. It's my honour to present this year's Byron Kennedy Award to Sarah Watt. To accept the award, Sarah's son, Glenn McInnes. Uh, well, I won't hang around long. The uh, Matt Day in the intro did most of the job for me. Um, Sarah was an incredibly talented woman. As her son, I'm proud of her achievements in artistry in film, writing and animation. She had the ability to make even the mundane seem beautiful through her films and art. Sarah would have been over the moon uh, to be recognised for the pursuit of excellence and innovation and for the recognition for an artist whose influence was profound. So for the, in the industry to award her tonight means a lot to her family, friends and work colleagues whom she left behind. Uh, Sarah firmly believed that filmmaking was a collaborative effort and on her behalf I would like to thank the many friends, family and work colleagues that helped and supported her on the way. Thank you very much. <laughs>